long time. He's, he's kind of been really good for the last year or so. Wasn't he at Blacklisted 3? I don't know. I don't remember. But he's he's very good. Uh, and his, his he was able to uh, essentially join like the net play group of the top NYNJ players a while back. Mm. And since then has just been on the come up for a long time. Oh, okay, and we're just getting the Saber facts. These two actually played on Thursday, right before this tournament, and Bubbles was the victor. Ooh. So this will be the rematch. I actually don't know the score of what they got either. Must be. Captain Falcon. So we'll, we'll pull up the Busters and Bandits to launch so we have that information as well if we can. Sonic. Massive 75-man bracket 75 on Thursday. 75-man local. What a world. It must have been a loser because I saw Zeno Kids at least just lingering on the winner's side. So. All right. Meanwhile, they are just striking their stages over there. I will say I'm, I love all of the stage names that are customized for this build. My favorite is especially Wario Land of You Won't. So Bubble Zeno Kids on Thursday was 2-1 in Ooh. Bubbles' favor. So this could go to game three again. This time they're going to start on Battlefield. This is Xeno Kids repping the Sonic coming from SoCal versus Bubbles repping the Captain Falcon coming all the way from New York, New Jersey. I will say it's not like New York, New Jersey has a very strong Sonic presence. It's one of those matchups that they don't really have a lot of out there. Meanwhile, SoCal has had Venom for however many years. So I'm sure Xeno Kids has played that matchup plenty of times. Bubbles right now is making it look easy. Yep, getting that edge guard situation, goes for the homing attack, grabs the ledge. He's actually putting so much pressure on Xeno Kids not to get able to let him move at all. And he just jumps back and down smashes. Xeno Kids rolls right into it. Bubbles takes the first stock. Yeah, it's looking like Bubbles is having a lot of stage presence right now. He's able to control massive amounts of stage really well. Kind of limiting Xeno Kids movement a lot. And even in these scrap situations, it looks like Bubbles has really got control. We're gonna see an edge guard. He goes for the spring edge guard. Nair reverses him off stage. He doesn't get the final edge guard, but the combo is still going. Oh my goodness! And he spikes him at 120. Shows him all of the Reeboks, Adidas, and all these sorts of shoe brands. Yeah, that was kind of nuts. That's yeah, looking like uh, if Bubbles can get the uh, stage positioning, he can kind of choke Xeno Kids out, while Xeno Kids can kind of also just combo him the moment he gets hit. So it's a matter of just who can control that space better than the other. I'm seeing that right now. Both of these guys are training a little bit. Xeno Kids comes down with the side B landing. He's going to get a follow up on this platform. It's his chance to edge guard. Drops the spring on him. Great tech from Bubbles. He's going to make it back, but then he nares off stage. Misses the double jump off the ledge. I really like the spring tactics from Sonics. If uh, someone comes down on that, they lose all their invincibility because they're too busy flying through the air. I like that grab from Zeno. He misses the ledge, though. I think he turned a homing attack to the ledge. It's very weird. Yeah, that was. Oh, that was an interesting situation of a Dragon Ball Z moment. I don't know what movie actually killed him. I think that was up back air. air. Up air or back air, for sure. <laughs> well, Sonic is so fast, he can just outrun side B. Interesting good bit. Oh! Good recovery so far from Bubbles. He's really had to keep Xeno Kids guessing. Xeno has been doing a great job of reacting to all the different options, but Bubbles is really mixing it up every time. And now oh. he might have gotten something here, but Xeno Kids forced the upbeat back, and that'll be Bubbles taking that stock right back. Crowd's getting excited. Yeah, I hear New York, New Jersey in the background cheering for their boy Bubbles. All the way out there. You know, still at low percent. He could even up this game quickly, but Bubbles is having none of that. As he turns this around, he gets the Nair Ooh. up air knee. Fantastic combo to close it out. Bubbles takes game one. Excellent conversion, man. Going for that fallen forward air just to get the really deep edge guard. I'm pretty sure he might have been dead if that knee didn't connect. Yeah. I think Xeno Kids just comes back and steals the ledge from him. Sonic can actually get back to ledge relatively quickly too, so. Yeah, absolutely. So the bands here are going to be FD and Green Hill Zone immediately removed by Bubbles. I think he'll go for uh, bigger stages. 
I'm honestly not sure. You, you don't want to be, you know, the victim of Captain Falcon dash dancing. But it looks like he is. He's going to be going to Dreamland. Switching that, switching that uh, costume there. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing here. He's got the Shadow the Shadow the Hedgehog color with the Maria tag. If you've ever played Sonic Adventure Battle 2, I'm going to need an explanation. Hit me up. Hit, so, explain it to me. Maria is basically, I don't know how it goes, but like they were kind of like friends, I guess. And then Maria dies, and then Shadow is like all lamenting about it. And it's pretty, it, as a joke, it's pretty much what Shadow always talks about. <laughs> it's basically Shadow's quote unquote waifu. Oh man. All right. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since I've played Sonic Adventure Battle 2. All right, but Dreamland is going to be the actual counterpick here. They both switched to the, the black versions of their character. Shadow Falcon versus Shadow. All right. Battle of Edge on the <laughs> happiest stage in the game. Absolutely. Oh, no. Oh, that's so unfortunate, but he does get the Meteor Cancel. He's, he is going to make it back. We saw Tonkos lose a match to that Raptor Boost Meteor, so anything can happen. Dunk. Unfortunately, no follow-up afterwards. Side B's a little bit too low to the ledge there. Yeah, that's so unfortunate for Bubbles because it looked like he was kind of in control for a little bit. Xeno Kids might turn this around. He is starting to fall for these uh, these tech chases where Bubbles is just teching in place and rolling. And Xeno Kids is never ready to punish the roll afterwards. Yeah, right there. Wow, they drift off the eye on the platform so we can get the edge cancel. Xeno Kid's living just a little bit too long, I think, for Bubbles' liking. Yeah, this uh, big stage pick doing wonders. Oh, but a fantastic need to call out the side beat. Oh, wow, he tries to go for that quick gimp there. Unfortunately, doesn't get it. Wow, just throws out the nipple spike. Completely calling out Sonic's movement. And there's that tech in place roll again, and this time Bubbles gets a combo for it. Off stage. Oh, no punish this time. Good stuff by Bubbles recovering high. Oh, I like the delayed uh, Falcon kick there. Any earlier than that, he would have gotten stuffed out. Side beat into an air, but Dreamline, you can live for so long. But a weird air dodge from Bubbles lets uh, Xeno Kids keep the edge guard going with a back air. The last back air comes through three stocks to two. Xeno Kids has the lead. I think he actually was thinking about he was going to get hit by the spring, which is why he was ready for the tech there as well. So it might have just been an option select that was uh, that gone awry. All right. Yeah, I, I bet that that could have happened. There's the down throw knee. It's dead even, two stocks apiece. These two definitely really strong players to be playing in round one pools. That's the level of the tournament we're at today. Stacked. So stacked. Absolutely. Oh, we have a nice combo here from Bubbles, who uses the platform to get the knee. Xeno Kid's not dying out on those up airs. It looked like he was just holding straight up. Xeno Kid's turning this into a combo of his own, but Bubbles turns it around. Bubbles continuing to just fall out Xeno Kid's. No way Xeno Kid's can sneak his way in. His positioning has just been really excellent these uh, past few games. Just taking the head of, just taking center stage, not letting him move around too much. And he down smashes him off stage. He wasn't able to knee him through that side beat. But Zeno not able to get the edge guard. Zeno's all the way at 116% on his last stock. This could be really scary for him. Bubbles also flubbing a wave dash right there. Everyone's down to last stock, but Xeno Kid's currently at 116%. 116, one random knee or a grab could do it. Or even like bad DI on a back air or up air. Right, Xeno essentially has to play this perfectly. He is going to live this first back air. Ends oh. up homing attacking, but hits the ground. Bubbles takes it 2 0. -oh. So much lag after that homing attack. It's super unfortunate. Yeah, I think had he hit the player, not the ground, he would have been in a much better situation. Uh, so that is very unfortunate for Xenokids, who will drop to the loser's bracket. 
Uh, meanwhile, it will be Bubbles moving on to face Sosa Ooh. in the winners of that pool, and the winner of that will move on to top 64 winner side. Meanwhile, we have another great match coming up for you guys right now. There's going to be Tombo Combo, who we saw on the stream earlier from Florida, going to be going up.